Hi, I'm Stephen from Pyramid IT and welcome to Tech Tips. Today we're going to be talking about making lines in Word. So if you're doing a form, usually you'll do something like this, well let's say underlines. But when someone then goes to fill it in, those lines continue and eventually it will spill on a different line, making the whole form look untidy. As you can see here, we've got a number of lines we can do. The first one, let's start with a thin line. It's just three minus signs on a new line. So we'll go here, minus, 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 enter, and you get a nice thin line. Again, if you want a thick line, it's just three underscores. So it's underscore, 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 enter, and you get a nice thick line. These lines, when you go to type on them, they do not move. So it keeps your form nice. Again, for a double line, we use the equal sign, so it's three of them again in a fresh line. We can also do dotted lines, just like signing a dotted line, and we use the asterisk for that, three of them. We can do jagged lines, that's just the tilde sign, which is, if I can remember, above the hash key, shift hash, so it's that symbol there, three of them. You get a nice jagged line. This one, I didn't know what to call it. But again, this is just actually three hash symbols. So, and you get a nice line like that. These also work in uh, forms or in tables within Word. So if you just do the three lines, you get a nice thick line. And as you can see, you can type on it. And it doesn't extend table or move it along. It keeps it nice and neat. I hope you find this helpful and I hope you'll be able to build your own forms. That's Stephen for Pyramid IT. And if you've got any questions, please email, email us at support at pyramid-it.co.uk. And if you've got any questions you'd like to sh be shown on Tech Tips, again, please contact us in the comments below or through our email. Thanks. Bye.